in this short video, we just want to show you the most common form of a dorsiflexion assist joint right here. And we actually like to incorporate the use of copper rivets to really hold those joints in there. But if you can see between the two pieces of plastic, there's a, a joint and that is uh, called a dorsiflexion assist joint. So what does that do? Well, uh, as you can see, if you can imagine, above the top of this AFO would be someone's knee above the top of the AFO. So the joint would allow the person to bend down if they needed to. Now, bending down for everyone might not be such a good idea um, because if people have a weak quad, for example, they might fall. But as you can see, at the same time, if we tip this up like this, the foot is actually kicked up into the air. Now, the weight of the foot itself will weigh this down a little bit, so people won't walk with that angle of a, uh, we'll say, a, a dorsiflexion assist, but there will be some help in that direction. And... Um, this is just something that we call a dorsiflexion assist joint for an AFO. You have one on each side of the ankle right here as well.